High schoolers, chaos states and preparations, disconnection possibly resolved, experience glitch resolved, and a two times experience event. This is Inside Maple. Hello and welcome to Inside Maple, the show that changes mediums more often than the color of that rash you got from Vegas. Yeah, you know the one. First off, we're going to try to attempt to cool down from the summer heat with ice coolers. Until June 28th, monsters will be dropping coolers. Open them up and you can obtain summer-themed potions, summer-themed weapons, temporary face accessories, a mount, or a guitar pick. For those, though, you need 100 before you can turn it into Mrs. Bow for a one-day pendant of the spirit. Next step is the content that I have been uploading habitually for the past few days, the Chaos Patch. But when does it come out? Well, the patch will be live on June 29th with the first part, the Age of Heroes. This part simply changes the Evon, Dual Blade, and Ron classes in a major way. On July 11th, the Age of Artisans begins, which brings about the new item crafting feature. On July 20th, the Age of Battle hits us for MapleStory's first ever player versus player action. On July 27th, the Ice Knight mode will be available for all. Then, on an unknown date, is the final part of Chaos, the GMS exclusive content that nobody has an idea of what it is. Please be Alien Party Quest, it'll shut a lot of people up and bring back those favorite VIP weapons. But to prepare, Nexon is having a cash shop sale. At the cost of 49,990 N... X... Wait... What? Um... This, uh... Package gives you 7 items and apparently saves you 30%. Who honestly has that kind of money available for this thing? Oh well, the next package gives you 10 items for a price of 99990 in X. What the hell is going on here? People don't have the money for this? Holy crap, pretty much $100 for 10 items? Wow, okay then. To um, uh, finish this, uh, random Mesa sacks are extended until June 22nd, and a chance to get reverse and time sequ items from the Gashapon are extended till June 22nd as well. But, uh, to make things better, the Ruby Experience coupon is on sale until June 29th. Hopefully that doesn't cost 49,990 NX as well. On a final closing note, recently I guess there have been DCers running rampant through Maple. Well, the server check yesterday hopefully fixed that, as well as an experience exploit that allowed people to get 90,000 experience pretty much in a matter of seconds and could do it non-stop. Nexon says that there are currently 4,595 accounts under investigation. What do I think? I think they just took the accounts of the people who logged out in that spot. That number is way too low for this. I'm sure a lot of people took advantage of it. But because of all the downtime, there will be a two times experience and drop event this Friday and Saturday from 2 to 4 Pacific Standard Time, 3 to 5 Mountain Standard Time, 4 to 6 Central Standard Time, and 5 to 7 Eastern Standard Time on both days. But, by the time you hear this, Friday's 2x event will probably be over. Less 2x events and just more fixes, please. I'm not even a player now, and I'm saying what everyone else is thinking. With that, this wraps up this episode of Inside Maple. Expect more test video footage over the day and weekend. And now that I know we're all done with school and graduations, congrats to all who graduated in the class of 2011. Class of 08 is still better.